right, so a couple weeks back, my headsets broke. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the $30 headset versus the $300 headset. I'm gonna show you both, uh, do like a mini review on them because I've used them both. And then you can decide for yourself if you want a big fancy or if you're good with what you got. I can go ahead and tell you what you got is fine. <laughs> okay. I was like debating, like, do I want this to be a spoiler? Like, uh. okay. So first of all, this is my $30 headset. It's a Astro A10. Um, it's got a cord, you know, plug it into your controller, plug it into a computer, mic here, right? And this is the one I was using for a long time, but my original cord broke. And so like after this headset broke, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get a big fancy. So I've always wanted a Bose something. Like Bose is supposed to be the king of sound. I Bluetooth it, I have to order a Bluetooth adapter. So I ordered a Bluetooth adapter for the computer, plugged it up and put it on and like, it's just a headset. Like I was expecting like mountains of beautiful sound and, and hearing things I had never heard before and like deep rich sounds and beautiful. It's a headset. It's a headset, okay? Not only was it just a headset, but I couldn't talk in a party and hear the sound at the same time. And if I got a phone call, I couldn't talk on the phone and hear sound on the computer at the same time. Turns out that Bose headset is not uh, for gaming. It is for like iPads, it's for iPhones. So before you go get a big fancy, first make sure it is made for what you are getting it for, please. So I sold it and decided to get a big fancy gaming headset, right? Cause I'm like, okay, fine. I'll go look up a top 10 list of like, fancy gaming headsets and get the fancies. So I did, 300 bones, all right, so fine. So this is it right here. This is called a Steel Series Arctic Pro wireless headset, and it's the big fancy. It's got, here I'll show you. You've got a removable battery um, that, it's like, it's got like, it's got a removable battery that charges it and then it's got a charge station that comes with it and then you just charge the battery inside the charge station. Three batteries come included with it. So it's all, so you've always got one that's fully charged. Um, the charging station is also a wireless output. So it actually puts out its own signal to the headset. So the headset doesn't have to like be Bluetooth to the computer, although it can Bluetooth. It just talks to the, uh, wireless station and the wireless station talks to everything you have it hooked to so it's actually pretty cool but and of course microphone built inside like that decent microphone it's not it's not a blue yeti but decent microphone and so the overall question is is it worth it like is a $300 headset better than a $30 headset and the answer is N yes and no. <laughs> so, like in terms of quality, right? Like in terms of like, ooh, when I get this $300 headset, like will my like talking experience be awesome and will I hear like all these immersive sounds and blah, 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 blah. No, like this $30 headset is just fine for the job, period. I've used both. I've used a 300 and the 30. I'm telling you right now, if you've got a cheap headset, this is fine. <laughs> Promise. A long cord is nice, so you're not so limited. This is fine. Now, I will say, being able to move around without cords is nice. Having a good mic built in is nice. That's about it. <laughs> um, um, and again, it's not a bad headset. It's fantastic. And um, and I get why they, you know, I get why it's kind of expensive-ish. Like it does a lot of fancy things. And half of the things that it does, I don't even use. But that's the point. Like, if you're gonna get a big fancy, and there's nothing wrong with getting a big fancy, just understand a couple things. First, if you're getting a big fancy, 
it's really nice if you're going to use all the things it does. I don't do all, I don't use all the things it can do. Like it can Bluetooth to a whole bunch of devices as well as be hooked into a whole bunch of devices. It can, it's got um, different sound profiles you can do. It's um, big wireless range. Like I can go all the way out nearly to my mailbox and it still picks up. Like this thing's ridiculous in terms of like the range. Like that's just as far if not further than my AirPod Pros. Um, so it's a good headset, um, but I just needed a headset to talk on and hear games through. And like one thing that this headset does that my big fancy doesn't is I could wear AirPods in these and people could still hear me clearly because the mucks weren't like completely shutting out sound outside of it. And people can't hear me clearly at all through these. So when I'm talking to people on the phone, I have to leave one muff off and one on. Well, it's cool if you're like, solo and you're not using the phone at the same time and blah 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 but if you're using the you know if i'm trying to be on a phone call and talk on the headset and hear the game like this was actually the better headset my 30 dollar headset that i only needed a 10 dollar cord for there you have it um was it worth it yes not because of the headset because of the experience like I learned a lesson, like before I bought that big fancy headset, I assumed all this stuff about a new headset. Like it's gonna be mind blowing. I'm gonna love it, it's gonna melt my face off. Like, oh, none of that. And at the exact same time, there was no way to know that until I tried it. And so in life, it's okay to try things. Try things, it's okay, just try. That way you know, like if you, if it doesn't work out, great. Now you know, either, don't do it again or find a different way like for example uh or like with my bose headset like the first headset i got like it was lame but then again it wasn't made for pc so i didn't give up i still wanted a nice big fancy so i'm like okay fine i'll get a big fancy gaming headset got a big fancy gaming headset and now i know that i wasn't really missing anything <laughs> right like this was just fine but i had no way of knowing that until i tried got it and I think I think ideally it would have been good if like I could have borrowed somebody's like big fancy gaming headset and then bought mine like that would have taught me the lesson without me having to spend it fine but the point is trying things is how you discover more just is no amount of reading an article or watching a video was going to help me figure out if I really needed a big fancy or not but trying things did the life experience did so Go out there and try something, guys. Unless it's going to endanger yourself or someone else, go try, go try things. It's okay. Um, some would say, oh, man, you, you blew, you know, like you lost all that money. No. I invested all that money in that experience. Now I know. And I'm glad I learned this lesson with 30 and 300 before it's with 3 and 30 million. Got it? So, the lessons are worth it. Uh, but anyway, so fine. Um, cool headset though, like shout out to Steel Series. It's a nice, nice headset. Actually a little small for my head, but I blew 300, so I'm gonna make it happen. Um, and um, I mean, I like being able to move around without cords. That's pretty cool. You really don't, you probably don't need a big fancy. <laughs> just being real. Unless you're just looking for a big fancy, I think that one's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so. Um, I will see you all next time. Hopefully, uh, that helps you in some way. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, like, I don't, I don't recommend you go below 300 on headset, but if you want, maybe that's helpful. Or maybe, or maybe it's just helpful for the lesson of just trying things, right? It's okay. As long as you're not hurting yourself or someone else. Cool, fine. Off you go. Um, so, okay. Alright, y'all. See you later.